So hello everyone and it is really time for an update because we now are at the 10th of April when I'm uh, starting to filming this. So we're more um, over a week into the process and it's not really uh, needed to be a week but around one week. So therefore, but I thought yeah I now need to make this update and as you can see I have a, a few more plants here in uh, in uh, the frame because I added some more. We started with five. I'm going to show you a little update uh, on the ones that I added in this as well because we have some Cattleya types and uh, one uh, Encyclia. So uh, therefore I'm go going to do a quick update on the ones who are um, joined in this group and then we will have a look at every single plant just to see what is going on and can we already decide to give them a full self watering system uh, setup I'm sorry or do they need a little bit more time so let's go on and while I was working on the first uh, selection of the orchids for uh, how I transfer them into semi hydroponic I did get my my order in from orchids and, and more and there are some Cattleyas in there, three Cattleyas and uh, one uh, Encyclia. So I thought it would be nice to uh, include them in this series as well. Just now we're getting started with it, so they are can join in uh, right from the start. And uh, just a brief um, show up uh, uh, about which orchids I have. Is First of all we have the Happy Holiday. Fushu Glory, <laughs> Happy Holiday, it's this plant, I did already unpot it, it was very wet, but these roots are still viable, and it's starting quite a lot of new roots, so a perfect time to uh, transfer this into my uh, new self-watering setup, and the next one is the Cattleya uh, Same Jade, beautiful blooms on this one, well, not now, but uh, normally if it blooms, it has beautiful blooms. And the roots are hmm, kind of okay. The roots that are left there. So, yeah, we will see how this will uh, react on the new potting situation. <laughs> Self watering. These roots are still viable. There's one root up here. So, hopefully, that will uh, continue to grow. And the next one is the Siamese Doll Kiwi. Also a beautiful one, but this one is in uh, a little less good shape than the other ones. But it also has a new growing, growing tip on that root, new root growing, and a little one in the back. Um, and there's the little one. So hopefully that will uh, turn out uh, well and continue to, to grow those roots as well. Then we have the Encyclia temp tempens. Uh, a variation Alba and this one has some roots left but no new roots this one is kind of bad root wise so this is going to be a challenge also oh, it has some shriveling on the bulbs already but yeah I think it will uh, take off but it needs some uh, adjusting and it's a little bit stressed I think but these four will join our um, a little club of orchids as well, the orchids who are getting used to a new setup. So let's start with the Masdevalia Ignea. And I'm going to talk about what I'm uh, expecting from this plant so far. Well, with the Masdevalia I uh, found them quite uh, slow to grow. So at this stage I do not expect much of it. I can only hope it stays uh, quite green in the leaf department as this one is doing, luckily. I still have those new growths there, I think. Yeah, this is one that's a little bit bigger and the other one there. And we still have some uh, live roots. I will try to zoom in so we can uh, have a better look at the root system at this point. And it's a little hard for me because the backlight and my greenhouse is quite strong, but I will zoom in, and I hope you can see the new growths and the roots. But that is it. We don't see roots um, 
really on the edge of the pot yet so I'm going to continue what I'm already doing and that is just spraying this with some RO water and most of the time some seaweed in it and that will be every two days for about every two yeah every day every two days depending on the weather the warmer the drier the more uh, water it needs I probably should uh, hold the camera in my hand so it's a little bit easier to film for me but in here around uh, at that point there is a new route so we're gonna follow that route if this decides to go in the pot and it stays growing I can then uh, put water in my reservoir but it's not there yet so I just wait a little bit more so the arca can adjust in my climate and the old roots uh, do not die off as quickly possibly by not adding water and I wait for that root to enter the pot second is the encyclion and it didn't have much roots on it a few left there I just sprayed them this morning so therefore they look do look a little bit wet and that's like I said because I've sprayed them and well there's something green going on there and that back bulb I try to zoom in film is like I said hard because I, I cannot see what I'm doing um, because the light that's coming in the, through the roof in my um, greenhouse um, yeah but around there there is something green starting and at this point it may seem like a new growth a root would be a bit handier for me at this stage but it might be a new growth and that will eventually start making some roots but yeah but so far nothing in a pot and that would is to be expected this one uh, isn't in the best shape so it may take a while to take off but yeah this is the encicla after uh, about one week in uh, transferring into self-watering without the water reservoir yet to be clear and then we have my Catalaya Fushion Glory Happy Holidays or Happy Holiday oh so, sorry yeah Happy Holiday <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a whole different story. This one has beautiful roots. Those were already there. And what I did watch for in this first week is if they kept there, if they kept growing, if they kept staying green. And as we can see, they did. So therefore, this one might be um, suitable to grow uh, into the system fully. You can do that, but I have, must admit, I like to uh, give them a little bit more time, so they grow a little bit more in down to in the media. They're barely touching the media at this point, so watering this is doesn't make sense yet. Those roots don't take water up anyhow, and also those roots, the older ones, do have a little bit of discoloration on there, so I'm try to slow that process down of uh, rotting all the old roots by leaving this uh, as dry as possible at this point so I keep spraying it with my oral water and seaweed and I wait a little bit longer but I think probably the next time my next update will be uh, in about two weeks I guess this one should be ready for um, the self watering setup the full setup I think I can say but it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful plant. So yeah, this one is going uh, as planned. And then we have my Cattleya Siamese Doll Kiwi. And this is the plant. Not much happening there yet. We have those all the roots. I'm happy with them. I spray them with the seaweed and I hope in the next few weeks this will start uh, branching that would be uh, quite awesome and then it's also ready to go in the system fully um, but so far no new root tips there then I have next to it the, the next one it's uh, Cattleya 
Time Age 8. I hope I pronounced it right. I see it looks like a new growth starting there, a new eye, also one there. So that's going well. The roots do look fine, nice and white still. But also no green root tips yet. Well, actually this one, this one, this is a root tip. That is very interesting, because that one is still there. I don't think it started the root tip in this system yet, but it is there. Um, so what to do? I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer, but I'm going to check on this route as well. Let me put a mark here as well, like we did in the uh, with the uh, internal wind. We can check that uh, in in a few minutes, but uh, let uh, let me mark this as well. So I gave this a mark as well, as you can see the red line there, and I will keep an eye on it. If it crosses this red line, I know it's ready to get a full reservoir, and by then it's transmitted into self-watering or starting to, but it's starting to take the self-watering I should say it's not fully transmitted of course uh, let me check no, no more roots there and then we have my Colmanarara uh, rose or rosé um, it's a beautiful plant, it's starting a new growth there that was already there but what is very interesting and things we like to see is that new road there going into the media. I hope my camera does take it, but there is a new root growing in the media. So this one, this is actually the first one that will get a reservoir. It's a good sign. The roots do look fine. Yeah, I, this this needs absolutely now the water, so that root will continue to grow in a wet environment, and that is what we want. So therefore, uh, yeah, this is the first one. After uh, about a week, so this one is very quick. So I have my raw water here with a little bit of seaweed in it. That is all, and I'm just going to give this the water and that water meter should give me the indication that it the reservoir is filling up with water and there's nothing in there at the moment so it may take a little bit of time and there it goes give it a little bit more and there we have it the first one so I would like to say welcome to Saving Hydroponic well, actually self-watering. <laughs> but yeah, this one is going quickly. It's because the orchid was already in his growing uh, state, I like to uh, say, to mention. Because this one has already uh, had that new growth. And yeah, so that's why it take up it's a little bit easier if you're going to give them a new environment when they are in actually grow modus. So therefore, uh, but this one is uh, still quite quick and I'm really happy with it. So that's the first one. And then we have these Anthocidium hensuali Eisler, the one I cannot pronounce. But um, yeah, this one is going okay as well. It has obviously a new root started. There were actually with, yeah, two new roots, but no branches on the other ones. So therefore I'm going to wait a little bit longer for this one. This one is barely touching the media. And um, I want to see what, what the orchid does, if it really accepts the new media and keeps growing the roots or sometimes they just stop and they need a little bit more time. So therefore I'm not going to fill up the reservoir for this one, I just keep, will keep it uh, spraying every day until I see really go those roots down into the pot. Because like I mentioned, sometimes they just don't like the medium yet, so therefore they need a little bit more time, for me they do not get any other choice so they have them no choice and they eventually will take the media but it may take a little bit longer so therefore I like to keep an eye on this one as well and therefore I keep it in the in the group so we can uh, so I can spray it every day so now we are uh, looking at the Brasia Verona the one with the flower spike and it opens a bloom 
but I'm a little bit too late. I should have done this a few days earlier, but you can see the back, the bulbs are really, really starting to shrivel. So therefore, I'm going to take this, uh, this spike off. It has a beautiful bloom. It will bloom for me again, but if I leave it, I might be losing this plant. And I'm rather um, more interested in keeping and saving this plant than uh, looking at a nice bloom. So I will uh, cut it off and I have a look at the roots, but I do not see any green, sorry, any green root tips starting yet. Let's have a look. No, it's just not there. Uh, no, I don't uh, see any green starting yet, like I said. So this one, uh, I just keep spraying as I did. The second one is the same, um, same plant that came in the same pot. It has a beautiful new growth there, here and here. It has four new growths, yes, and an old flower spike. It also reacts on this uh, repot. Grassiers do that. Most of the times they give, uh, they let it, you know, they have a hard time uh, very quickly by letting those bulbs shrivel. But they will, uh, they will bounce back quite, uh, quite good in, in uh, when they do take off in their self-watering setup. So don't be fooled by that. Just don't start repotting them again. Just let them be and try to get, take good care. Uh, of them as much as you can but in, when I started out I was very sad if I saw this so I thought oh no they don't take well I don't want to lose the plant so I'm gonna get it out again I'm gonna repot it in bark because it came in bark no don't do that <laughs> yes the plant is uh, working very hard to get used to the system but it will the brushes I normally don't have any problems with so just leave it in there it's now trying to transition into this new setup so don't make it any harder to put it back in bark and once again I know it looks scary but it, it will take it and I do see a little teeny tiny grow, grow tip there I hope it does show up on camera it's very tiny and I do see a little star there um, do I see even more no at this point too so, if they continue to grow, to get bigger again, this one is uh, starting to adapt really well. Even though the bulbs are shriveled, it's really working hard. But they are, both of them are not there yet. So, like I said, I will keep spraying them with my RO water and my seaweed uh, daily. And sometimes I skip a day, it just depends on the weather. If it's dark and rainy, you can uh, skip a day. But if it's not, I spray them every morning. So yeah, I did take off the flower spike. And nowadays I don't mind that much anymore, but when I started to grow them, the orchids, I really hated to get them off. But I can see now, from experience, that they really need it. They do not need the blooms now, uh, as when they have having such a hard time to grow in a new setup. So therefore, I, uh, the blooms will come back. I just need that plant, a healthy plant, and it will give me some blooms again. So therefore, yeah, it gets easier to cut them off. <laughs> so and now we are at, at the, the last two. Both of them are Brescia's uh, Eternal Wind. This one is with a name, and I hope you recognize this one, because this one we gave a mark, and I'm a little um, nervous to watch this. I still see a little bit of green on that root there, but how does that root uh, do that we marked? Um, yeah, it, oh, oh, I'm sorry, it also has a one yellow leaf. It's not a big of a deal, it's already fall off. It can miss that leaf on the other ball. But let's try to find that root, and if that did grow, we can give this a reservoir. It really should need a reservoir because that root is um, new and that can easily uh, adjust to the new system. So therefore, oh yeah, here it is. Oh yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Do you see the mark? And there is the growing tip. This is beautiful. This is the second one. I really get excited when I see this. It's so beautiful. Yes, yeah, a beautiful root. Yes, 
that is nice. So I'm very really happy we did mark this one because now I can really show you that it really did grow that root in this, uh, yeah, let's say this last week. So um, this is the chance. Now we need to get water in that reservoir and let it get used to that wet environment. Oh, I'm so happy. This is beautiful. And this is the first time I get it on camera. Within a week, and of course those roots were already there, but still it's, it can go, sometimes go very quickly. A transition between uh, different medias I uh, refer to. So yeah, I'm going to pot it up and give this some oral water and seaweed as well. So it's back in this pot. I have my water here. I'm going to fill the reservoir up. And let's keep an eye on that on that water meter. It should give that indication. Sometimes they do get a little bit stuck. And there it is. That's why I love them. Now I know I have a nice reservoir down in that pot. I hope you can see it. My backdrop is also red, so I don't know if you, it was very visible, but I think it's clear now. So yeah, in about, well now let's say, two weeks, I think, maybe a week, two weeks, we will uh, look at this uh, orchid again. Just like the other one who already started growing in the same hydro or self watering as well, we can have another look at those roots if they continue to grow. But yeah, I think they will, and uh, I'm really happy with this. Also, within one week. And this is the little brother or sister of the plant. <laughs> um, well, the first thing that I noticed is that root there. It's also starting a new root there, so that's beautiful. So it will not take too long, and, but does it have some new roots in the pot? We see that old bark that I mentioned in the first part of this series. It doesn't matter as long as you don't have too much bark in there. Um, no, I don't see any roots in the pot yet. But like I said, we have one there and I, probably that one is starting to grow uh, as well again. So yeah, I think, I think when the next update, when we do the next update, this one uh, can go in there. Uh, completely in self watering as well, but in the meanwhile I um, keep spraying it as well, this one as well. So this was uh, part 2 of this uh, series, how to transfer your orchids into self watering. And we started off with 11 on the dry side and two of them now do have a, a reservoir already within one week, so that's quite quickly. And of course I keep mentioning that, that those plants were already in their growing cycle. So starting new roots is the best way to uh, repot anyway. But I also film a few that do not have repot, of, uh, I'm sorry, uh, new roots growing. Like that Encyclia is in quite bad shape. I just wanted to film those in this series as well. So we can follow them and see how they uh, how all of these orchids eventually uh, do transfer into the system. I thought it would be very nice. Only um, the happy stories is not uh, always very learning or helpful, I think. You also uh, want to follow, uh, at least I want to follow plants that do take up a little bit more time and I hope that you, you may learn something uh, from it. And I also want to mention I have them sitting in this corner for the exception of the Mette Valley. I probably talked about it the last time but yeah that's because it's uh, over in the cooler section of the greenhouse these guys do not to get too much light I have them underneath those shelves here there are my vendors my brushes there's a lot of light but here is a little wall with bricks there that keeps the light they do get a little bit of light there I also have some uh, a one LED light above them so I drew, uh, reduced the light levels uh, quite uh, quite a bit for these guys because too much light at this stage will um, shock them and make it way more easier to get them to grow into semi-hydroponic uh, or uh, self-watering. So therefore I reduce, even though the catlayas, the brushes, they need high light, not at this stage, not yet. They need 
first have some roots to take up the water, then it can, can take the light and the heat. So therefore, that is something very important uh, to mention as well. I did get a, quite of a sort of a reminder from Justin's um, Arcus and more his channel. Uh, he had a question about an uh, Arcus and Catalea, rootless Catalea, to um, yeah get some advice on how to get that uh, particular Arcus to start growing roots again. And I completely agreed with the uh, comments that he get. And one thing I thought I should mention. Um, uh, here and that is the light levels. Don't give them too much light in the beginning It will stress them out. It will make them very hard to get adapted Into a new system into a new climate as well. So easy on the light And there's my little Masdevalia Ignea Sitting and there in the back. I have uh, my first Masdevalia. It's the black velvet but if it blooms, I will show you the blooms. I'm not sure if it really is a black velvet. It would <laughs> the blooms weren't that dark, so I don't know. But anyhow, that one is taking uh, self-watering uh, fine. So this one should be fine. But if it the valley, it's a little bit harder to get into a new growing uh, setup, if you ask me. So therefore, it needs probably a little bit more time. And the other one, the first one that did take well, the Colmenara Rose. Is here it's with his uh, new buddies <laughs> let's zoom out this is the section where I keep my odontoglossum types and now it's uh, I can water this um, I think for the next three three weeks at least with a raw water and sometimes a little bit of seaweed in it not always I don't want to get too much seaweed in there it's not necessary but I don't start to feed uh, yet I will let it grow those roots a little bit more into the pot. As soon as, as soon as I see those roots on the side of the pot, I w then will start feeding this orchid again. But not now. It doesn't take up the feed yet. It's just really working very hard to get some roots out. So too much feed will um, not be very beneficial, as too much light. That will come over time, but not at this stage. So, this is part two. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, find this uh, very interesting, this series. It takes up quite a little bit of uh, work to get them uh, together, but I really like it. I really like to enjoy, uh, yeah, I really uh, enjoy to uh, share information there. And like I said, I hope it's useful. And um, yeah, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.